right everyone welcome back to the channel cool. seems a long time since I've said that <laughs> I must apologize for going silent for what is nearly six months but uh, anyway more of that a bit later I'll explain what I've been up to but uh, I finally dragged myself out of bed alarm was set for five and I've come to try and get some bluebells in a local woodland only 10 minutes from home but uh, as suspected I think I'm a week too late I think they're dying off but uh, the weather looked good this morning I haven't got work till mid-morning so I thought I'd come and give it a go it's a, a little woodland that I've I've visited before I came last year and it's got some lovely little gnarly trees in, it, in amongst it it's about 20 to 6 now in the morning the sun is rising but it's not penetrated this little bit of woodland yet which was the plan I'm hoping for some nice shadows with some bluebells but uh, anyway the birds are singing nicely let's go and see if we can find a composition <laughs> suspected I've missed the bluebells by I don't know a week 10 days the colors just dropped off them now and I can see the base of the the bluebells are beginning to die off bit of a shame really but uh, I think the image that I captured here last year is probably going to be better than this one but anyway never mind I've just not had time and like I said at the start of the video I've been flat out working hence why there's been no videos up for well what is nearly six months uh, sorry about that guys and go, go and dis just disappearing off the face of the earth but uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I started lorry driving back at Christmas. The sport work just totally died off. I think with moving from the south coast up into Lincolnshire, I'm treading on someone else's toes and the work was just not there. So I decided to stop chasing the sport work, give the photography a rest. And I've got my HGV, my, my lorry driving license. So I decided to go lorry driving at Christmas and that obviously progressed into the new year and four or five months on. I'm finally trying to get a bit of photography work back. Not in sport, unfortunately. Do miss the sport, but um, I've had a few avenues open up in the commercial world, which is which is fantastic and quite exciting. I've been doing a bit of online tuition, some Zoom calls with some of you guys. So thanks ever so much if you've had a Zoom tuition session with me. It's been great. We've been obviously going over sport work, my old sport work, and. Uh, and a bit of landscape and woodland tuition as well so yeah the online tuition's ticking over nicely and thanks if you've uh, had a session i've also been doing some product photography jewelry and uh, electronics and things like that in my little mini studio so yeah i'm enjoying the product photography and uh, as i say i've i've got uh, a few nice jobs coming up in one in a local academy uh, capturing new imagery for their website so that's going to be good of uh, I've got a studio shoot next week in Hull University, so, so looking forward to that, that's going to be good. So yeah, I'm having a bit of time, getting a bit of time to uh, get out and make a few vlogs because when I was lorry driving, obviously I was starting work at four or five in the morning, sometimes not getting home till seven at night, long 12, 14 hour days. And my weekends became quite precious, you know, housework was uh, piling up to the weekends and a uh, bit tired, so I was being a bit lazy and having some lie-ins. To be honest, I know some photographers talk about it, but I lost my mojo a bit and the passion disappeared a bit and I wasn't wanting to come out and get the camera out at weekends and that because I've been working all through the week and uh, yeah, the mojo disappeared a bit, but I've got some work on today obviously, but not till 10 o'clock, so I thought, right, I'm gonna set the alarm for five o'clock and get up for sunrise, try and get some bluebells just to get out really. The birds are singing and I have missed it. Now that I've got myself out of bed and I'm in, I'm in this woodland, I have missed it. But uh, it's, it's, it's funny when you lose your mojo a bit and the passion goes a bit and it's just took a back step. But I'm not going to get a video out every week, but I'm going to try and get you know a couple out a month if I can and get things going again and uh, just try and get out and about. I've got the coast on my doorstep, so I'm going to try and do some coastal videos as well, some long exposure stuff. 
and uh, yeah we'll see we'll see what comes but anyway so that's where I've been guys <laughs> I've been sat in a lorry doing some lorry driving but uh, the photography's back now say in the commercial world so uh, really excited about that try and build that up a bit and uh, say the online tuition's going nicely so I'm getting eaten alive by midges here but uh, anyway this image like I said two and a half seconds F11, ISO 50, I'm at a two second shutter delay just to make sure there's no wobble. I'm on the 70 to 200, I've got a lovely row of gnarly trees for about two or three hundred yards, scattered with some nice bluebells as a nice carpet. Might have to do a bit of saturation and bring the colour levels up in post process, but uh, anyway, at the end of the, the corridor trees there's a nice open area which draws your eye down the frame. So F11 should be nice and sharp all the way through the frame. So yeah, it's okay. Probably not as good as the image that I captured here last year. Say so I've missed the colour of the bluebells. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to grab that now because the sun's just penetrating the canopy a bit. And I'm just waiting for some nice shadows. But uh, yeah, that looks nice. That looks better. But uh, anyway, I'll pop this image up now. Say so, sorry I've been away for such a long time. Nearly six months. I don't know. Terrible. But time flies, doesn't it? But uh, Anyway, I'll pop this image up now guys, and I hope you like it. hoping that the sun was going to penetrate what is actually quite a thick canopy a bit more than than it is doing as you can see this these beams of light here I was hoping it was going to also fall on the bluebells but uh, it's that thick in here and these trees are only quite small they're only I bet the canopy is only 25 30 foot tall so we're not getting the beams of light that I was hoping we would but I've spotted a few more bluebells bit further through there but again the colour's gone but just see if I can find one more composition and see how we get on. Well I've got to admit I've struggled quite a lot this morning. A to get my mojo going, find a bit of inspiration but as you can see the sun's come out now and it's it's beginning to pierce its way through the canopy so what I've decided to do instead of looking for that overall nice composed shot with a nice carpet of bluebells I've gone close and personal I did try the wide angle to get that that nice frame but it just wasn't happening it's too thick in here and the trees are quite small there's a lot of brash about and I don't want to walk around breaking branches off and bits and bobs so what I've tried to do is go back on the 70 to 200 at about 200 mil and use the flecks of sunlight that are casting a nice ray of sunshine, nice ray of light onto the bluebells and I've gone close and personal and I've just picked out little clumps of bluebells with obviously a nice dark backdrop in, in the background and it's really emphasising the bluebells and yeah I think I've got a couple of nice frames. Obviously using that nice strong sunlight now I've, I've upped the, the, the exposure time to 20th even 50th. There is a little bit of movement, a, a bit of breeze about but it's 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 not affecting the frames at all so yeah and I'm at sort of f4 f5.6 to really emphasize the bluebell and have that nice drop off in the back in the backdrop a nice bit of depth so uh, yeah I think it's worked quite well so I was struggling for a bit of inspiration but when that Sun came out I thought I'll change my options change the methods and try and try and get some nice close-up frames so yeah I think it's worked on the 70 to 200 something different not quite what I came for but that Sun is coming out now look but uh, anyway, I'll pop a few frames up now guys, and I hope you like them.
worked out okay in the end, quite like them close up and personal images on the 70 to 200 at about 200 mil. Something a bit different, but if in doubt, change your tactics, that's what I'd say. But uh, yeah, just nice to get out again, to be honest, and make a video and uh, chat with you guys. So uh, yeah, do get in touch, leave any comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, like I said earlier, with regards to the online tuition, whether it's woodlands and landscapes or, or sport, if you want to pick my brains, get in touch and uh, we'll get a session booked in. So yeah, yeah, feel free to get in touch anytime. But uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Only a quick video today, but nice to get out and about, listen to the birds sing and get a bit of photography done. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take care, catch up again soon.